Hello, hello, hello. No obligation. Boy, it's all quiet in here just for a moment. I can change 67 that. Shut up. Degrees. Yes, shut up's here. JC. <laughs> and let's get it cranking. Good morning. I'm Jamie Cooper. Thank you all for getting up with us on a Thursday morning edition. This is Athens in the AEM. Cooper and Company right here in Limestone County, Athens, Alabama. As you know, on a Thursday, it's lip smacking, jaw jacking, sponsored by... Well, Lewis and Son, Lewis and son <laughs> Roofing. Getting ready right now. We'll get back with you and Joe. How's your mom? Mama's good and still sleeping right now. All right. We'll check in just a moment. That bacon's shriveling up on us already. It usually does. <laughs> <laughs> and join us this morning. David's back. Donnie, shut up, Huddleston. Zach knows all about sports. He is now the official ZTV sports director. It's an unpaid position. Like, <laughs> I offered it to, to many all? people. Shut up, says, if it ain't paying, I ain't saying. That's our right. right here on ZTV. <laughs> hey, we are joined today by some lovely crew over here, some Confederate soldiers just happened to be camped out this morning when we got here. William Pepper, Buzz Estes, and William going to beat his drum in just a little bit. And uh, good morning, boys. Hey, morning. Yeah, we're going to get to hear from them in just a little bit. Frank's on the phone, 230-4988. Then we're going to go outside in a little bit. Brian Griffin's here with Griffin Mobility. And if you have a disability, whatever you're looking for, a vehicle to do that, help you around or anything, Brian's up here with us this morning. Griffin Mobility at Hartzell. He's going to tell us all about what they got going on, too. What you cooking? A little bit of everything. You know, I want to make it simple today, uh, but yet not too healthy. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> we're having BLTs today. Bacon, lettuce, tomato sandwiches. And then I just didn't think that was going to be enough. Well, I, see some, I see some skimps out here. <laughs> you got to have some shrimp. I'm going to do stuffed mushrooms this morning, too. Have a few different things we're going to put in our mushrooms, throw them in the oven for about 15, 20 minutes on 350. We'll get rolling with that in a few minutes. Let's talk about your Huntsville Sharks. Oh, oh I just didn't it? realize I had this no, on No, I didn't today. realize you. I figured you were trying to get a <laughs> plug in. Plug again. Uh, I coach the Huntsville Sharks uh, travel softball team, have for eight years, and we get rolling uh, June 1st weekend right after the big wedding. The big wedding and the Did big I tell you that's wedding. coming along really, really smoothly? Oh, no. No, oh, okay. But it's but, but it's happening. So listen, I've been involved in several weddings. Uh. <laughs> you want to? I just want to say I've been gonna, involved in several of them. And this was going to be pretty good. I have a relative that my son told me. He said, you know, I want it to be like Uncle So and So's wedding. I can't really say online. He said he has some of the best weddings. <laughs> he's been married a couple times. He's been married more times than I have. But he's done now. Right. He's got a good one. All right. Well, we'll let you get cranking here in the kitchen. Right. We'll get over to the set, talk some sports today. A big draft day. Zorro's already acting up in here this morning. Let's get it cranking on this uh, Thursday morning edition. Cooper Company Live. Here's Gloria with the weather because I think raining or not. No, I don't want any rain. I want some more sunshine out there. Yesterday was a beautiful day. Nice and breezy, too. Made it nice. But 67 degrees out there right now, which feels great. A beautiful morning out there. Get out if you can. High temperatures today around 83. And, of course, there is that slight chance of rain. He wants my lipstick. I, lipstick. I don't have it over here right now. 84 for your high tomorrow. Yes, a little bit of rain. Those are those pop-up showers, so hopefully it won't stick around long. Look at the long term. Be forecast. He is not a brat. There it is right there. 230-4988. It's Tony this morning. Tony. Gosh, I had Tony on my mind. We were just talking about him. Actually, Tony is doing better, but you get Frank if you call this morning. Sorry, hey, before Frank. I get uh, hey, carried away here and talk about everything else this morning, my buddy, <laughs> Tony greets me, uh, called me yesterday. A great friend of theirs passed away. A lot of you folks here in Athens know him. Mike McCormick uh, yeah. played in Tony's band and was known by Brad Stovall was telling me that yesterday when I was down visiting Brad down in Tanner. Mm -hmm. And I think that uh, if I understand Tony right, Mike's got three brothers that are all preachers. Do you know anything about that, Zach? I know. I believe I know Mac. Max, I believe one of his brothers, but I can't I can't remember if no. I know the other one. All right, Donnie, shut up, what's up? Oh, nothing much. Just waiting on the draft to hey, come up and let's show Donnie's name, Brad. <laughs> A tight shot of uh, shut up here. This is your official uh -oh. new title, David. Pay attention. We know how you know you're still there. Right, there he is, right there. Show there it is. Shut up, Donnie Huddleston. Yeah. So we went wall new graphics. David, how are you? I'm doing good. I uh, thought that was good always to have you back in I hope you're hungry. Uh, Lewis and Son, we're going to talk more, more about the anniversary of the tornado and how you guys spent that day a year ago. Mm -hmm. uh, never will forget that. It was on a Thursday last year. I stood right yeah. there, and the, when we opened the show, I stood right there in the door and said, don't y'all watch us today, because it could get bad, and then I think we were off there for Quit two or three days. So, All right, Zach, let's get her cranking this morning. Draft starts tonight at 7 o'clock. You say you're going to lay up all night partying? Probably yeah, snap I, on that and stay. I got to work. Do your superiors more. know you're laying out of work? I, I, I take vacation. <laughs> oh, you take I, vacation? I, yeah. 
Yeah, I'm not skipping work tomorrow. So. You're laying out of work watching NFL draft. No, the draft's tonight. Have a I'm party and didn't even invite me. You come on over, you want to. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. At but 3 o'clock, he's in the bed yeah, asleep. Exactly. Yeah, I'm going to bed at the time the draft is starting. You may, <laughs> you may text you when the Alabama guys get drafted or just forget that. Oh, no, text me. Don't wait. Okay, text text no, text no, don't wake me up. Uh, <laughs> uh, what's happening, draft? Um, well, for the draft starts tonight. I mean, everybody says I talk too much Alabama, but I'm an Alabama fan. So I'm going to talk about Zach, it. I'm who, 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 who's telling you that, David? Because he's Auburn. No, no. I, I'm but I do have some Auburn guys at work. No Alabama. Tennessee well, guys. Well, they 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 will come time. up here and spend t spend money to be yeah. on this program. We'll talk about Auburn or something. But, uh, <laughs> but right now, since but, I'm a Bama fan right. and it's my TV show and TV station, roll tide roll. Absolutely. Go tide so tonight's going to be a big night for Alabama. They're going to have, you know, they are going to have five guys going the first round. Uh, actually, the Jets c contacted Trent yesterday and said, hey, we want to get your number. We might trade up to three to get All you. All right, so you're saying exclusively for the first time right here on this program that Trent Richardson's going to the Jets at number three. The Jets wanted his number just in case they think about trading up. So right now they got him going four to the Browns. There's they also a thing that the Vikings could take Morris Claiborne, LSU guy, so we could have LSU guy go before an Alabama guy. Uh, that, so that, that, that's not nothing unusual, though. I mean, Psh. But who's got, who's got, got five Christopher? drafted? In, has Auburn got anybody going to be drafted? Not in the first round. Hey, they man. might have somebody later in the draft. Okay, okay. we mentioned Auburn for all you Auburn out. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I got one more Auburn story, too, since I didn't. Uh, they, had a, they had a guy from Huntsville High School, Cameron Tony, signed with them a couple weeks ago. I missed that, so I apologize. All right, first, let, let me interrupt you a second. Zach, yeah, Zach and I were on the, yesterday. We had heard a rumor that Billy Neighbors, the all-time Alabama great, a Hall of Famer, had died of a massive heart attack. That, as of right now, that is not true. If anybody knows him differently, please let me know. He is still alive, but Billy did suffer a heart attack yesterday. He had one at the stadium a couple years ago and almost died, didn't he, Zach, in Tuscaloosa? I think he had one in Tuscaloosa. Great guy, the known the family well mm -hmm. there, super folks, but legendary hey. Alabama, fa uh, Alabama family. So. Oh, yeah. and, and one of the other legendary Alabama guys, Coach Glenn Griska, who was with Coach Bryant from early days, he actually coached up here in Huntsville. Now, when did he, he was, pass away? He passed away, I think it was Monday. Okay. He passed away, and if anybody went to the Bryant Museum up yeah. until a couple years ago, he was the first guy you met, Greg G in the door, and, okay. and he was a legend in Alabama. Coach so Bryant's still alive, though. <laughs> according, yeah. to most, according, to Nick, according to most <laughs> Alabama <laughs> fans, yeah. but... Uh, right. A lot of people saw it that other night with Chipper Jones homered on his 40th birthday. Uh, I think he's yeah. got... He's tied for like the most homers on his birthday. He's got like five or six really? on his birthday. Yeah. This is his last year, right? This is it for him. He and he needs it too. Hey, in case y'all didn't know, we do on Thursdays we do sports first, guys. So I just didn't want y'all to. Zach's gotta go to work. You know, yeah, yeah, I gotta go to work. Zach's a scientist. I'm not a scientist. <laughs> Zach's a scientist out at Dredd's. I wish I was. <laughs> I'd make a lot more money. <laughs> and a song later at church. Yeah. Let's give Same a shout out to the church Christ you go to, Zach. Lots cross show church Christ. Okay. You don't want to sing this. But I'm not I'm not He's gonna sing he I'm not gonna sing a song. Right now. <laughs> Why not? Zach, you are a man of many talents. We didn't know all that. Don't you ever pay for a haircut again? <laughs> I hadn't been to Tammy again lately, so I. But I'm, I'm getting you a free haircut. I'm okay. sending you somewhere. Are else. you coming to Jamie's oh. in spandex to go in the pool? I don't. I don't know if I can. <laughs> no, I'm, I, do, I don't swim. So. <laughs> Zach, the water's this deep. I don't care. <laughs> oh, I, don't care. I don't care. <laughs> uh, Everybody knows about Metal World Peace. I hate oh, calling world that peace, guy. Yeah. What a name. Peace, what a guy. Name. Ron Artis, and he changed the name to World Peace, and he elbows a guy. Oh, he got seven games. I think he ought to got 20. Should have got the season. So he ought to yeah, got it. You have. keep up with that, Andy. 13 seasons, 13 suspensions. That's it's terrible. Uh, this was interesting. <laughs> Forbes magazine named Jimmy Johnson as America's most influential athlete. Jimmy Johnson, NASCAR driver. Yeah, NASCAR, yeah. That's pretty, inf you know, that's pretty good. Uh, sorry, Auburn guys, but uh, Calvin Johnson beat out Cam Newton for Madden 13 cover, so so Cam did not get the Madden 13 cover. Uh, National Predators, any hockey fans out there, they advanced to the second round. And let me get my, my racing in. I'm going to introduce you to my buddy Jimmy at the car show. Saturday, if I see, but NASCAR Denny Hamlin won Formula One. Sebastian Vettel, Vettel won, and that's Whoever. and that's about all I. Mean, I Zach, about besides all I your have. one friend that's watching this morning, <laughs> yeah. how many? Uh, Jeff, pay attention. How many of you fans uh -huh. really care about drag racing? 
Looking around the room, nobody's the, raising their hand, William. Hello. Let the phone ring. Oh, Let the phone right. ring if you are. I went to a club one night and they had drag racing coming in the back side. <laughs> Jimmy, they had drags. Jimmy, if you're listening, <laughs> you are staying call in now. All right, Zach, got a question for you. USA Today this morning. The most popular sports and activity, not football, in the USA. Talking about anybody can do. Most popular sports and activities. Well, now y'all can read it. It's the way to go, Brad. Throw it up where they <laughs> Walking can. for fitness. There you go. <laughs> Boy, bowling, quick. treadmill, running, jogging. Mine's pole dancing. Bowling. I've never been bowling in my life. You've you never dance. been bowling? Maybe once. You've been bowling. You know, go take that. What? On the clip it says walking. Walking for fitness, bowling, treadmill, running, jogging. So. Treadmill, running, jogging, and walking would all be the same. I would think so. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Hand weights. <laughs> All right. And then this morning, could Beyonce get any better? People Magazine just named the singing superstar the world's most beautiful woman. Yes. I don't, you know, I think I don't my believe wife's that. Gloria that. Cooper has always been voted here on this program. Show that photo. World's most beautiful woman. Yeah, there she is. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, and there's a little turtle catching a big headed baby. <laughs> <laughs> he always he looked like a turtle when he was a baby. Yeah, well, okay. Hey, let me take my <laughs> first break of the day. Y'all don't run off. We'll come right back in just a second. We'll come back and do a miniature version of the, the news. The Indians, that's what I thought. <laughs> yes. Soon to be our political analyst during the presidential oh, season here. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. You keeping up with the John Edwards fiasco? Yes. I hope he, he goes He needs to be jail. burned, but he, he needs to go yeah, to jail. Yeah, I mean, he... he, he Funds? All right, using, judges. Hey, I, I got okay, some other stuff you know about. Okay, let's go to a break. We'll go no, to a break. Now you ask come me. right back. Y'all, oh, hang Lord. on. <laughs> 